I mean, I would say it's all the same thing. The one that is scared of death, the one that wants to resolve it, the one that's somehow trying to work it out. It's all the same meme, so to speak. Yeah, well, <laughs> even that's an answer too much. No, there's absolutely no answer to this. There's no answer to this. All of this is what seems to be happening. And there is no real you in you. And there is no real you in that whole situation. So, but yes, nothing needs to be done. Yeah, that's true. Die, maybe you could just die or something. Uh, fear, there's just some fear. You don't really know what the fear is about. It could attach to any story, what you are afraid of. Um, it's just this underlying sense that something really bad can happen. You don't even know what it is, but that's just part of the fear. If It's not really conscious, but the idea is when I die, something really bad will happen. That's just how it feels. There's something that's not allowed to happen. One could also put it around death, around in that way. So whenever there's death around, there's all also this, this, this assumption that there is something really bad that's going to happen, but that's not allowed. And this feeling can attach itself to any story. Maybe it's not my own death. It's that, as you said, my loved ones or a completely different story, but that's just how it feels. Don't go there. That's what the me says. Oh, there's fear. Uh, there's death. There's fear of death. And the person just says, oh, this is not allowed. Don't go there. Yeah. Well, I guess, well, I don't say that it doesn't happen, but yes. Yeah. The fear of death is part of that which dreams to be alive. So, yeah, that's what I mean. It's somehow one bundle. The, the sense of I, the fear of death, the the need to find an answer to it. But I don't think that this shouldn't happen. I mean, all of that is what happens and it's perfectly whole and complete. There is no need to make anything uh, go away. It's just apparently <clears throat> pointing out that the fear of death happens for an illusion, that there is no one alive who could actually die. But this is also not an attempt to make it go away in that sense. It's just not real. Yeah, really, it's an idea. It's an idea of the person that you can do something like meditate becoming calm, getting calm or something, having a break from one story. I mean, it's neither right nor wrong, but my impression is that for the person, it's, it's an idea and another thing that you can do or you should do that somehow supports one's life. And that's the dream, that there is some, that there is someone and that this someone has a life and that there are good things to do or um, bad things to do. Of course, always for me being a happy me. But... So sitting down might happen and falling asleep might happen. But there's no one doing meditation or stuff like that. Person's dream, that's what I mean. And it's dream, it's just another thing that I need to do or that I can do. And usually it's somehow combined to an inner, inner position. So being present or something, to not be distracted or to not get lost in the story. And of course this, this can feel nice. There's absolutely nothing wrong about this. Of course for the person, it, or it can absolutely feel nice to not go around and, and think and solve tasks and stuff. And of course, it's a, a way to relax. The thing is that the person just stays the person. There's just no connection really to what we speak about here. 
And uh, <clears throat> Joey asks, would you say it reinforces the sense of I? Well, not especially, but of course everything the me does is reinforcing itself, so to speak, apparently. And also meditation, of course. Well, but as I said, it's not the sitting down and doing nothing, but uh, the eye would reinforce itself with the idea that there is someone who can do that, or that has an idea of meditation. That's what I mean. When this body sits down and relaxes or doesn't do anything, there is no idea of this being a special state or being meditation. It's just what apparently happens, the body having a break from being active. But there's nothing to it. It's also not something deeper or stuff like that. So in that sense, there is no such thing as meditation at all. That's what I meant. And my impression is that it's just an idea that the person carries around, that there is something like that, that it's a state that it can go into. So, and of course, by telling itself this story and living in that story, it apparently reinforces itself. Yes. <clears throat> There's absolutely no need to sit down and stare at a wall or learn the lotus seat or something. There's no nothing to that. <clears throat> Maybe the suppression of sense perception gives the eye a sense of control. Uh, yes, yes, the eye is the sense of control and whatever it believes to do seems to reinforce that. And of course, that's what many people assume uh, liberation to be or fulfillment to be, a state of perfect control. And of course, there are some spiritual uh, traits, tra uh, some spiritual people who say that you can need to learn to control anything, like your every thought, every feeling, the senses, or that you have to retract your attention from everything else in order to be completely free but so there's no connection to this it would be just a perfect me that's in the end where the me hopes for the answer to become a perfect me so it lives in the idea of control so it thinks maybe I'm free if I have perfect control. That's what usually all teachings are about, to become the perfect me. <laughs> Reinforcement sounds like cause and effect. Well, I know, yes. I, I, that's why I say it's apparent. And, and it's funny, it's, you can't really describe it because it, it's not only meant as a process, like a reinforcement as a process, it's somehow all instantaneous. The moment there is the sense of me, there is the sense of being active and the sense of being active somehow confirms that there is a real me. Instantaneously, you don't have to even regard it as a process in time. That's the miracle. The sense of I am is all, already the confirmation of itself. In a very weird way, you know, that's just a description. It's a story, of course. And of course, no one is doing it. So I understand reinforcing is maybe not the right word. But the sense to be is the sense of existence. That's just how it feels. And by feeling in that way, it confirms itself and by being active and by apparently being able to create results and stuff like that. Of course, none of that is really happening, but that's just how the dream feels. And that's why apparently only, of course, everything the me does apparently <laughs> is an apparent reinforcement of itself. Absolutely. 
nothing the me does apparently <laughs> leads to less me but that's exactly the opposite to what the me thinks that's why it's somehow kind of interesting to point it out because the me thinks i need to be active i need to be there and do something in order to become fulfilled and in some spiritual circles, becoming fulfilled would mean to lose the I. So the me just would think, I need to do something in order to lose the I. And that's just part of the dream. Question, can past triggers stop suddenly? Oh yes, of course, that's possible, but they don't have to stop. There's no need for anything. So past triggers don't have to stop, but of course they, they also can stop instantly for no reason at all. Yes, can just be wiped out of the system. Maybe meditation is a popular method of creating a better future meanness. <laughs> well, yes, I think that's the hope. I think that's what, what uh, spiritual, te spiritual teachers promised since hundreds of years. <laughs> that there'll be a better future if everyone would meditate. I mean, as I said, there's nothing wrong with, medita with meditation. And what it does offer, apparently, is a break from thinking. And of course that is relaxing and yeah, there's just no one there really. I mean one of the me's favorite conclusion from this meeting is, from those meetings is, well if nothing matters I can just go on uh, seeking, <laughs> which of course is true but it's not really what's being said here. What's being said here is that there is no one. And the me turns it into, well, then I can go on meditating every day. Then I can go on desperately seeking. Then I can go on following a guru. Of course you can go on following a guru. Well, no one would do that. But what's being said here is, hello, there is no one. No one is doing anything. It's all part of a dream. I know, I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> it's just what the me is actually wanting to hear. Oh yes, I'm fine. My path is okay. I'm allowed to seek. That's perfect. I can just go on being me. Which is true, of course. <clears throat> but there is no one really. But again, the me, the me then apparently would use this message again to confirm itself. Nothing matters, I'm allowed to be a seeker. <laughs> well, one could also say the illusion is perfect because it's 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 the same home. It's it's equally what apparently happens. You can't even call it a real illusion. I mean, that's part of the freedom that we talk about here. That there is nothing real, and that there is no real illusion either. There is nothing real, and that there is no real illusion either. And there is no one sitting in the illusion. There isn't an illusion happening to someone who has a who has a disadvantage from that. This eye is dreamt. In the illusion as well as in liberation, there is no one. It doesn't make sense. Sitting in front of the screen, talking to Andreas, doesn't make sense. Yet, it is what apparently happens, and it's whole and complete.